Hello guys, if you are facing issues in your USB, SD card, or any external storage drive, then don't worry. It's actually a pretty common issue on Windows operating system. Sometimes your USB doesn't get detected, doesn't show up in File Explorer, or refuses to open. And it's not just USB drives, the same thing can happen with SD cards or external storage drive too. Maybe it's not letting you format it, or it shows up but doesn't open properly. If you're dealing with any of these problems, stick around and watch this video till the end because I'll walk you through the complete solution step by step. So, without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. All right, so for the first method, if you've plugged in your USB and it's not showing up in File Explorer, then go ahead and open Disk Management. If you can see your USB listed there, that's a good sign. The issue might just be with the drive letters. Here's what you can do. Right click on your USB drive in disk management and select change drive letter and paths. Then click the change button, pick a different letter from the drop down menu and then click OK button to apply the changes. You'll see a warning pop up, just click yes to confirm. Now, go back to File Explorer window and check if your USB shows up. If it does, great, problem solved. But if it's still missing, don't worry, we'll move on to the next method. If your USB drive isn't showing up in File Explorer or Disk Management, that means your computer or laptop isn't detecting it at all. So here's what you can try. First, unplug the USB from the port you're currently using and plug it into a different USB port on your PC or laptop. Wait a few seconds to see if it gets detected. If it shows up, perfect. You're all set. But if it still doesn't work, try another port just to be sure. If changing ports doesn't help either, then let's tweak one setting that often fixes this issue. Close everything and click on the Windows search bar. Type power CFG dot CPL and press enter. This will open your power options. Look for the power plan that's currently selected and click change plan settings next to it. Now click change advanced power settings. This will open a new window. Scroll down until you see USB settings. Expand it by clicking the little plus icon and then expand USB Selective Suspend setting. Make sure this option is disabled. If it does not, then disable the option. Once done, click Apply, then OK. After that, check if your USB gets detected. And if it still doesn't show up right away, then restart your computer. After restart, if you still face USB issue, then let's talk about another really common USB issue. Sometimes your USB drive shows up on your PC or laptop, but it doesn't display the storage space. When you try to open it, you get a message saying you need to format the drive before using it. But when you actually try to format it, it just doesn't work. You might not even be able to open or format it at all. If you're facing that exact problem, then we can fix it using command prompt. So first open Windows search bar, type CMD, right click on it and choose run as administrator. Click yes when prompted. Once the command prompt opens, type disk part and press enter. This will open the disk partition tool. Now type this disk and press enter. This will show you all the drives connected to your computer or laptop. Look for your USB drive in the list. For example, mine is disk one with 58 gigabytes. Once you identify it, type select disk one, replace one with your disk number and press enter. Next command type clean and press enter. This will wipe the USB drive completely. Then next type create partition primary and press enter. You should see a message saying the partition was created successfully. Next we'll format it. Type format fs equals ntfs, then press enter and let it finish formatting. And it will take some time, so let it finish 100%. Once done, type assign letter, then type here letter you want to assign to your USB drive. Replace Y with any unused drive letter and then a press enter. And that's it, and check File Explorer. Your USB drive should now appear with a new drive letter and be ready to use again. But let's say you've tried everything so far and your USB still isn't working. In that case, there's one more thing you can try, a small tool called USB Repair. Open your browser and search USB Repair Rezonesoft. Click the official site and scroll down until you see the Download Now button. It's a very small file, so it will download quickly. Once downloaded, go to your Downloads folder, right-click the file and select Run as Administrator. 
follow the installation process and finish it. After installing, open USB repair tool. This is application interface very simple. Click repair USB button. The tool will scan and automatically try to fix your USB issues. If the repair is successful, awesome. But if not, the tool will let you know that the problem might be with the USB hardware itself. At that point, it could mean your USB drive is physically damaged. All right guys, those are all the possible fixes you can try. Hopefully, one of these methods helped you out. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.